students <coughs> from the world of literature we have taken out one more play named after the wild duck to discuss with the students well before we discuss the play I would like to make you understand all about its characters and the story, what the story is and what the writer wants to say about it and uh, why the Titan has been kept as the final duck. So, the book that we have picked up, the play that we have picked up is The Wild Duck, written by Henrik Ibsen. First of all, I would like to make you acquainted <coughs> with the characters in the play. Who are the characters? There are seven important characters. And uh, if I will simply utter the name of these characters, you might not be keep it in your mind. So I am writing it down on the board, the different characters, what they are in the play the wild duck so you can also <coughs> note it down these characters the important characters in the wild duck the name of the book is the wild duck by its Henrik Ibsen it's Henrik Ibsen Characters are number one Hakon Warle Hakon Warle. Uh, let me write in a proper way so that uh, we may have the gap here. Hakon Warley. Second character is Grigors Warley. Grigors Warley. Third character is Old Ekdal. Fourth character is Palmer Igdal Palmer Igdal Fifth character is Gina Igdal Gina Igdal Sixth character is Hedwig Hedwig Igdal. Seventh character is Mrs. Sorby. These are all the important characters. These seven are the important characters, but one more is there who is Dr. Relling. Dr. Relling. Now, let me say about uh, all these persons who are these fellows are. Hakon Warley, he is a businessman and uh, a rich man of the society. Hakon Warley. Grigor Swarle, he is the son of Hakon Warle. Grigor Swarle is the son of Hakon Warle. Okay. So we can say he is a father. This one is son. Father is a businessman. Businessman. Grigor Warle is a son. 
of half on sun of half on barley. Old Eagle is the business partner of this Hakon Warle. Old Eagle is the business partner of Hakon Warle. But unfortunately, this man was caught in some embezzlement or in some scam, might be a false one, and he was kept in captivity in the jail. This old Eagle. Halmer Egdon, J and A is silent. Halmer Egdon is the son of old Egdon. Now, Gina Egdon, Gina Egdon is the maid servant. Gina Egdon is the servant of Hakon Verle. In the form of Hakon Verle, this Gina Egdon was working. And she is also the beloved of this Hakon Varle. Had we get done, had we get done, Gina Igdal is also the wife of Halmar Igdal. She later became, she later married to this uh, Halmar Igdal and they have a girl child whose name is uh, Hadwig Igdal. So Hadwig Igdal is the daughter, a 14 years old daughter of this Halmar Igdal and Gina Igdal. She is 14 year old. Now, Mrs. Sorby, the another servant working in the farmhouse of Hakon, Hakon Warle, in the house of Hakon Warle, and uh, she is now the another beloved of this Hakon Warle. Now, Dr. Renin, a man, sincere man, loving man, and telling the truth to the person. He is the only man whom we can rely for chiding this Grigor's Warley. Anyway, later we will now come to the story. As the story is, Hakon Warley works in a business or he has a business, Hakon Warley has a business and the old Egdal was the partner of this Hakon Warley. In some cases, this uh, might be the case uh, is of the economic embezzlement or some scam. This old Edel was caught in captivity and he is sent to the jail. Grigor's Warle and Hakon Warle had the relationship of father and son, but they were pulling apart, they were living apart to each other. Grigors Warley never wanted to leave stay with uh, Hakon because the Grigors mother is dead. Hakon's wife is, Hakon Warley's wife is dead. Grigors Warley was uh, not so a good boy but uh, he don't like to stay with this Hakon. Anyway, so he is living separately. Old Egdal, when come out from the jail, his uh, son, Halmar Egdal, has no money at all to have to run his own business. So, he was leading not a very much good or rich life. Hakon Warle was in love with his servant, Gina Egdal, who was uh, working there in the house of Hakon Warle and uh, they developed a sexual relationship between and uh, this uh, Gina Igdal was totally involved with this uh, Hakon Warle. When the time is up, Hakon Warle finds that it is suitable time to get rid of this Gina Igdal so he kept a proposal that Gina should be married to this Halmar Igdal. Since Halmar Igdal is financially a weak one, he has no money to run with the family, he has no money to run with his business, so financial aid is given by Hakon to this Halmar Igdal and in lieu this 
Hina was married to Harmar Ekdal and this marriage was being materialized by this Hakon. Okay. So now Hina becomes the wife of Ekdal. This Ekdal family were living in an apartment all together. They were living in one house in the apartment and uh, taking all into account it's a happy family. Harmar Ekdal has a shop of photograph. Gina Igdal works for her husband in that photograph shop and works, she works more than her husband. This man, Halmar Igdal, is a dreamer. He is a daydreamer, always in the reverie you can find him. But he never tried to materialize his uh, dream. He never tried to uh, he never tried to uh, make his dream a success by implementing the efforts to make this dream, to make his dream a success one. He is simply a dreamer. So all the work is being done by Gina. She is a laborious one and taking all the works, household works also and the soft works also is being done. By this uh, completed by this Gina. Hedwig Later on, Hedwig, uh, who is the daughter of uh, Halmar Igdal and Gina Igdal, was being loved very much by the Igdal family. Hedwig is a loving daughter of this Halmar Igdal and Gina Igdal. Now, what happens? The story when open, the novel when it opens, the scenario is there is a table and 13 persons are eating there. They have a congregation, all these 13 persons were getting food there on the table. It is at that time, Grigor comes to know that uh, his friend Halmer, his friend Halmer Igdal, is married to Gina Igdal. He is married to Gina. Grigor was very much aware that Gina is in love with his father. That is Hakon Warley. And he feels himself something confusing that uh, how this Gina is married to this man, Halmar Igdal. Later he came to know that this marriage is being fixed by his own father. So he wanted to tell the truth to his friend, his classmate. Uh, this uh, Grigor Warle and Halmar Igdal were the friends, they were almost the classmates. And Grigor wanted to tell the truth to Halmar that who this Gina is. Well, but he did not get the opportunity or right time to tell him at that time where well, he is gone. What happened? This Hakon Warle had, while shooting in the for, while uh, shooting he finds a wild duck there and he wounded this wild duck, brings him back and gives this wild duck in a gift to this Warle, to this Ekdal family, to this Halmar Ekdal. Once again I am telling you, the wild duck was being wounded by this man Hakon Warle and this wild duck is given in the gift by this Hakon Warle to Halmar Ekdal and Gina Ekdal. Okay, so the wild duck along with other pigeons and birds were there in the attic of the Igdal's apartment. Okay, now this baby, I can't say baby, this uh, daughter Hedwig Igdal was very much fond of uh, her parents. And uh, this wild duck, this old Igdal is also very much fond of this uh, wild duck. Now, Mrs. Somerville 
as the entry but before we discuss about the Mrs. Sauerbe, Grigars got the opportunity on an occasion, Grigars got the opportunity and tells the truth to Halmar Igdal because this man Grigars may we say that antagonist of the play, he might be the antagonist of the play. This Grigar is thinking that when I will tell the truth about Gina to Halvor Yggdal, this Halvor Yggdal will lead a very good life when he will come to know about the truth. Whereas the reverse fact is when this Halmar, so Grigars tell everything, every reality of Gina to this uh, Halmar Yggdal, Halmar became furious about his wife Gina, that uh, Gina is not a good girl, not a good wife and she has a relationship uh, with this uh, Hakon Warle. And this Halmar Ekdal started hating his own, own daughter Hedwig Ekdal also because this Halmar Ekdal started thinking that Hedwig Ekdal is not my daughter, he sees the daughter of Hakon Warle. So, the suspicion in the mind of Halmar Iqdal arises and the life becomes very difficult in that house. Second point of this Halmar Iqdal of saying is that this Hakon Warle is becoming very poor from his eyesight or the eyesight of this Hakon Warle is becoming very poor. So is the case with the Hadwig Yggdal. She was also very weak from her eyesight and this is being resembled by this Halmar Yggdal that, that this weakness of sightedness of this Hakon and Hadwig is hereditary. So Hadwig is not my daughter, she is the daughter of Hakon Verle and this man, Halmar Iqdal, started hating his own daughter, Hedwig Iqdal. Hedwig can't um, believe it that my father is hating me and neglecting me, but he tried to stay with his father, he tried to talk with her, with her father and uh, he, see, uh, see, Try, always, always try to keep the situation under control and uh, make the situation as usual. But this was all in vain. So Mrs. Sorby, the entry of Mrs. Sorby is there. Mrs. Sorby comes to the house of uh, Mr. Halmer Iddal and uh, Gina Iddal and she declares, Mrs. Sorby declares that I am going to marry this uh, Hakon Warle and uh, you can, you means this Halmar Iqdal, Gina Iqdal and Hadwig Iqdal, these three or these two can go and stay in the valley office of this uh, Hakon Warle, I am going to marry with Hakon Warle. Well, what happened there? When this Halmar Iqdal and Gina Iqdal uh, reached to this valley office of uh, Mr. Hakon Warle, it is at that time it is revealed that in the will of Hakon Warle, it has been represented, it has been written that 100 crown will be given to Hadwig Igdal every month as a pension. Anyway, for her survival. So this makes Halmer Igdal more suspicious that Hadwig is not my daughter, but Hadwig Igdal is the daughter of Hakon Warle. That is why Hakon Warle has given her 100 crown per month. Okay. So, it is Dr. Relling. Now, come to this one, Dr. Relling. Dr. Relling has all the time insisted, not insisted uh, uh, this uh, Grigars Warle. He is all the time telling to this Grigars Warle that don't tell the truth of the love between Gina and Hakon to Halmar Iqdal or else 
you will ruin the family of this Igdal. You are ruin, you are ruining this Igdal family by telling the truth. So you will be responsible for that. But this man ignores the talks, the advice of this Dr. Rallying and he told the truth about the love between Hina and Hakon and thereby creating a rift in the family and uh, the cause of ruin is there in the Halmar Yigdal. So Hadwig Yigdal unto the last when she finds that this man means Halmar Yigdal, his father is not ready to accept her as her daughter, as his daughter, then she is in confusion and she is thinking what to do and not to do. It is at this time that Grigor's injury is there and Grigor's advice is this Hedwig. If you want to convince your father that you are the real daughter of uh, this man Halmar Yigdal, then you please go and shoot this wild duck which is the best one in this family and loving to all. Everyone is carrying this the wild duck. So you go and this wild duck is being given by this uh, Hakon Varle as a gift to this what to this Igdal family. So you go and shoot that wild duck. It will be the symbol of your love towards your father that you love your father Halmar Igdal. They, Grigas and Hadwe insisted this old Igdal who was carrying this wild duck insisted him to kill this wild duck but it is at that time uh, all of a sudden Hadwig Igdal shot herself dead in the attic when the sound of the gun reaches to the ears of uh, this old Igdal and uh, Grigor's Swarle, they all rushes towards the attic what happened there Grigor's is very happy he is thinking he is joyous he is thinking that might be old Igdal has shot the wild duck dead but when he finds from the opposite side this old Igdal is coming he is in confusion what is actually the case then both the old Igdal and uh, Grigor's find that Gina, that uh, Hadwig is lying dead on the attic in the attic there this uh, man Grigors thinks that accidentally while shooting the old duck, while shooting the wild duck, this Hadwig has shot herself. It is accidental case, but it is Dr. Relling who is knowing the truth that Hadwig Igdal has committed suicide by shooting herself. Anyway, the thinking is this. The story, the moral, the lesson of this story, the uh, saying or truth of the story is this Hadwig Egdal has left the world of negligency and hatred. He she was no more capable enough, strong enough to bear all these things, all this negligency and hatredness of the earth upon her. That is why she thinks it good to bid the world goodbye and shot herself she committed suicide highly. then you may ask me question what is the meaning of this why the title is the wild duck everything it is white the title is the wild duck because everything every person in this uh, play something is wild wild means not pet not civilized all these persons are uncivilized, not uh, behaving like a wild one. They are this one man only. Mr. Relling is the only person who was behaving in a civilized way, a good one. Others were all the wild one. They were become, they were behaving like a wild duck. Sir. Wild duck. That is why the play is named after the wild duck. Moreover. The wild duck is also the symbol of the writer Henrik Ibsen. This Henrik Ibsen, this writer was also leading the same life of the wild duck like an uncivilized one, like a wild one in the society of the then time of uh, 
his uh, life, most of his life has been spent like a wild duck. That is why he has kept the title wild duck. Okay. This is all about the story of this wild duck. Friends, see you in the next literature, in the next book. Thank you. Bye.